We dig deep into local health care savings with Peak Health Alliance. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First. Today, the nation shared a moment of silence and remembrance for nearly 3,000 people who lost their lives on September 11, 2001, 18 years ago this day. Police and firefighters in Breckenridge presented colors at Blue River Plaza, while in Eagle County, fire engines led a procession to Freedom Park in Edwards. 9-11 remains the single deadliest terror attack in U.S. history. A 31-year-old Summit County woman faces two charges of vehicular homicide for an August accident on Highway 9 that killed two people. Lindsay Lee Ward was allegedly drinking August 30th when she crossed the center line on southbound Highway 9 heading into Summit, striking and killing Benjamin Mitten and Nicole Goh. Ward goes to trial in October. If convicted, she spends up to 24 years in prison. This week on the State of Summit, we look past the hype and into the details for Peak Health Alliance. Rates for the Peak Health Alliance plans for 2020 will decrease between 39 and 47 percent. That was Governor Jared Polis earlier this week in Keystone when Peak Health officially became the first healthcare co op of its kind in Colorado, saving cash through hospital negotiations, two partner carriers, and a limited budget pool for high cost claims. But is Peak Health different than ACA health insurance? Peak Health CEO Tamara Pope drinks to beat. The way people have always accessed their health insurance is the way they will access their the Bright Health and the Rocky Mountain Health Peak plans. Pope drinks to beat admits the healthcare industry is more complicated than it seems, and Peak Health is more like the little engine that could than David and Goliath. To find a solution, I think, to the overall problem, you really do need to be able to engage with providers, with carriers, with brokers, with the third-party administrators. She also learned specialized care is rarely local and that is often to blame for sky-high premiums and co-pays. So every time someone decides to go down to the front range because they think it's cheaper, that means that a service doesn't get provided in Summit County and the system has to compensate in some way to provide the infrastructure that would have gone into that care. At the Keystone unveiling, State Insurance Commissioner Michael Conway said the peak health model could easily spread to other high-cost counties across the state. This was going to be our test case for the state. Healthcare rates are available now for ACA enrollment in November. Review online at peakhealthalliance.org. Tune in again next Wednesday for a sneak peek at the next 10 years of CDOT projects with the State of Summit on Crystal 93. It's been a bustling summer for the U.S. Forest Service with more than 10 trail projects across the county. Bill Jackson with the Dillon Ranger District. You know, these are kind of like community trails. They're local trails. Uh, Salt Lake for this area, Silverthorne and Wilderness, Mesa Cortina, and Soda Creek, of course, everyone that's over in Summit Cove. Work ranged from Tenderfoot Mountain and Dillon, home of new moto trails, to footbridges on Frisco's Mason Town Trail and reroutes in the Soda Creek network near Keystone. Strategically, we're trying to work with all the different towns to improve overall trail experiences. The Forest Service relied on those partnerships for manpower and cash, like the Golden Horseshoe north of Breck, now managed by Summit County Open Space. That allows us to be able to focus in on other areas where a lot of work is needed. Trail work season is not over. Visit fdrd.org for a Masontown project this weekend. There's a dusting of snow in the forecast tonight for mountains north of Summit County and maybe the Gore Range, and that's got us thinking about ski season. But take it from Joel Gratz, the powder guru at Open Snow. What does early season snow mean for the season ahead? And unfortunately, the answer is not much. So what's his advice for anxious powder hounds? First, live where the snow is good. And if you're going to travel, do not chase a storm forecast until 10 days at the most. Local fire danger is moderate today with stage one restrictions. Fires are banned in undeveloped areas. Backyard fires and fires in fire rings are okay. In sports, the Rockies play the Cardinals tonight at Coors Field. First pitch is 640. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency. Summit High Golf is in Gunnison today for the Dos Rios Tourney. All other teams are off until tomorrow when boys soccer plays the Lida away. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.